Hey fellas, happy 4th July to all my stateside viewers and following up the my look at Transformers War for Cybertron Siege last year, I finally have been able to get into the second chapter of the story and with the Kingdom Home one coming in later this month, don't worry I'll be reviewing both before the year is out. out. You hear my first impressions on Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise. So, this is the second chapter of of the Netflix WFC trilogy, and even though it's directly adapting those video games to play, hey, it uses all elements of them. It's sort of a reimagining of the original ones in the 80s. I'm really enjoying me as well, I mean, especially, hey, I mean, given how the Autobots have left Cybertron on Venturing the Stars, Hers and the Septicons are going to follow them. It's clear that much danger lies ahead. And I mentioned before how much I loved the first season last year. And even though, oh, it's not quite the same by the fresh year that was, was this time around, it's definitely still a solid Millinger rule. Seeing how B is going to be officially joining the Autobots, not and. I just kind of like how the way you approach this character. I mean, it reminded me a lot of what Bob was a Han Solo as well. I mean, given how initially he's not in in this for the revolution, so to speak. He just wants to get the job done and make some dough off of it. That's I mean, but I really liking how he's starting to care what he's fighting for over the course of this and how. It's clear that also Megatron has a lot of plans for Project Nemesis, and they're going to see what fruit they'll bear fairly early on. So, and as the series goes on, so there's that. Animation they've done a great job with. I mean, given how the series is kind of a sort of revisionist take on the original whole designs and lines, and even though apparently there's design pulls from the figures, who's some of my associates told me I am. At least, he's glad that yeah, that designs look consistent. They're sort of an evolution of the original designs from um, before, and definitely looking forward to this next movie they're working on. Potentially doing something similar, especially with that's going to feature classic characters. Also, probably going to also going to set the '90s feature ones of the Beast era. So, yep. Definitely looking forward to that. I mean, and even with the hand with the whole problem with the casting, the voice setting is also quite solid as well. So, definitely looking forward to seeing more of this going on. And anyway, this has been my last first impressions for a while now. So, getting to a semi regular schedule again. And and tomorrow, of course, another Pokemon Monday. So, most likely, unless something then comes up. Up about the about the next games. It's mostly going to be another Sun and Moon Ultra Legends vlog. Start. I definitely want to get the ball rolling for Pony Island, that arc as well. Knowing what lies ahead. So that'll be all for now. Until the day, till all are one. Mm.